This video was recorded in front of a live virtual audience. Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Today I'm gonna be showing you a little tutorial. Uh, this is a Coco Eau de Parfum by Chanel, monolith bottle as we call it, refillable spray. And this is the refill, originally packaged still. So it's gonna be a little tutorial on how to replace the bottle that's in here with the bottle that is, that's in here. A little bit of magic. It's not that easy. It ain't that simple. And one of the reasons I'm showing you this is to also raise awareness towards this particular packaging because Chanel, as of late, has been discontinuing all of their more rare and quirky looking pieces because they don't sell as much. So they just kind of quickly take them off the market. And I really love this packaging. I love this so-called, I call it the monolith, just like Stanley Kubrick's monolith from 2001 A Space Odyssey. I love this monolith bottle um, and I, it would be a shame to see it be discontinued. So that's why we're making this video, showing it a little bit of love. Before we get to the tutorial, unboxing, deflowering, <laughs> replacing, um, if you like my channel and like my content but haven't yet subscribed, consider subscribing to my channel now. You can push the join button next to the subscription button and become a member today. Join my channel and gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon, Super Decob all spelled together on Patreon. Also there, extra perks. And thanks to all my patrons and members who have already pledged. Also, thank you to all my co-chatters and co-unboxers who are watching and chatting right now live because this video is being filmed live in front of a virtual audience. Thank you guys. Let me know what you think as I'm unboxing and you guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below. So before we get to the unboxing of the 60 mil refill, this is how they look in their box, in their packaging, really slim, a little bit of gold, a little bit of black, the oriental 80s fragrance of Chanel. Chanel's answer to Opium by Yves Saint Laurent. Okay, this is the front. So, I mean, it ain't the best of productions. This is not by any means, you know, Chanel has updated uh, their products, all of their casings, um, their perfumes that are refillable. By now, almost all of them are placed in, they used to be in plastic, but they're now placed in metal containers and then lacquered metal containers. Coco is still the old school, is the last old school one still left standing. Who knows for how long, though, because I have a sneaky suspicion they're going to discontinue this one. Uh, this is the last one standing in plastic. This container is plastic. The... I'm feeling... Yeah, it's completely plastic. Even this bit, the golden bit, it's not cold to the touch. It's also plastic. So... Mine is empty, um, and it's been empty for a while. I have always been afraid to replace uh, the bottle. It's not so easy. You can't lift the top here. That's not how it goes. Um, this perfume does not function from the top. It's a bottom. So uh, we have this little lever at the bottom, this little sliding door, if you will. And it is scary. Let me zoom in. There you have it. You have the whole inscription. Wait, it says Coco Chanel. There you have all the information. 60 mil, blah, blah, blah. And you have this little tiny pull thing. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to pull it. Okay. And you pull it open. And actually, you could use this. Could you imagine? This is so gorgeous. I know I'm just a fanatic of Chanel, but you make a little hole through this. You drill it because it already has semi hole. I know it's like upside down, but you could actually wear this as a necklace. A little Chanel necklace. How cute is that? A little Coco. I'm loving this. I mean, I just unboxed a short while ago the um, dog tag necklace. 
<laughs> you can make a plastic cocoa version of it. But anyway, we digress. Now, here is the scary part. Once we've pulled out that little sliding door, and I've never done this because I've always been scared to do it, because once you have, uh, as we said at the beginning, deflowered this entrance door, it is forever broken. Yes, that's the sad part. So, as you can see here, is the part that's supposed to bend, and here there's a cut. So I'm going to pull this open, let me... Okay. I'm going to... Oh, that's the bottom. Okay, I'm going to pull this, you have to like literally pull it out. Sad, but that's what it is. So, you see, and as we start pulling, here we're gonna get stress marks. We're going to get stress marks on these two tiny little, this little leglet and this little leglet there. Now they're pristine. They're perfectly placed in there, slide it in there, and they're good, right? Original from the factory. But now that I've used up my bottle inside, I am sad because I have to replace it. So they want you to pull this down and we're stressing the plastic now. It's stressed. And there's a little soft, foamy thing here. Like a foamy sticker to, you know, function as absorbent for the glass bottle that's inside. And there it is, the empty glass bottle. Okay. There it is in all its glory. So we are going to deflower this. I'm going to take this off as well. Maybe I got to push this down. There you go. So you got to do this once your bottle is empty because you're going to have to press onto this. And if there's still some perfume inside, you're going to spray it open. But mine is really empty. And oh, we're given. Uh, so you see, it was like in there and we're pushing it out. We're given birth. Yes. We are given birth to an empty <laughs> Coco 60 mil bottle. This, oh, there she goes. And it's really hard to pull it out too, you guys. It's really tight in there. Oh, we got it. And now this has been a deflowered and it is there and it is empty. And we have this gorgeous, empty cocoa bottle. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Now, I shall position this down here. And now we got our refill. Okay, okay. So, it's the Immaculate Conception. It was a virgin, but it gave birth. How is it possible? <laughs> Read the Bible. Uh, if, if the Bible can do it, so can we. So now we are opening the new batch and we are pushing it open just like that, yes, very smooth. We open the lid and of course here on top, first before we take it out, <laughs> no pun intended, you get a little description, you know, it's like idiot proof. I love these. I'm going to photograph this and post it on my Instagram because I love their little sketches. I find these so sexy. I know I'm crazy, but so here's step one, step two. There you see how I was more elegant and pushing it down um, because they are literally honking on it. Like, look at this. They are literally like, just press that shit out. Like, they're like, just honk on top of it and let it slide out and then you know the reverse of putting it back in now and here is the twist you guys i'm doing this for the love of showing it to you for those of you who don't know how to do it but truth be told i have also purchased backups of this monolith refillable 
bottle as well because I fear that it might get discontinued and I just love have these mo having these monoliths next to each other. Why am I saying all of this? Okay, so we pulled this bottle out, but now that we've opened this, okay, this is the new full Coco 60 mil refill spray. Isn't she or he or it, them, they, adorbs? Oh, I love the elegance. It's like a bar of soap. Now, let me tell you where it's at. I actually purchased a bunch of these because uh, this was before lockdown also um, and also during lockdown because I used to travel a lot. And this one scratches very easily. This one doesn't. This one is much smaller and flatter and perfect for travel. And the fact that Chanel actually gives you a stopper for this and check it out, it also has a Chanel logo. Look at this. Look how beautiful this is. They even went through that extra effort to have that logo up there. You can actually have this for travel purposes. You don't even need the monolith. Okay. Take this with you. Look at that. It even has its sprayer. I mean, this thing is amazing. Just traveling with this, if you love your cocoa, but you don't want to have the bottle um, that resembles the Chanel number no. 5 bottle with the sticker. The sticker can peel, can get scratched easily. This thing, the logo on the stopper can also peel off easily. So you don't want to travel with a bottle of cocoa like this. This is the bet. And Chanel doesn't do uh, travel sizes uh, for cocoa. They don't do their little 20 mils and stuff. This is the best way to travel because there's no sticker on this. It's super flat. Check it out. It has its stopper, so it won't spray in your bag. No sticker, no damage. It's perfection. It is perfect. And for being, for being a refill bottle, it is so beautiful. It can almost pass as, okay, this is the original bottle itself. The only thing that gives it away is this little bit here. But if this were gone, I mean, check it out. It's so freaking elegant. I am loving the design of this bottle, the way it is. It's just perfection. You know, it doesn't look like a refill. It smells divine. So we take off this beautiful little stopper. And uh, I'm going to put it in. <laughs> no pun intended. And we're going in, you guys. Yes. It's a little bit hard at the beginning, but later it's easier. And you gotta, you gotta be careful. You gotta align it because here you see it's not aligned. Now you gotta push it a little bit down. You gotta center it. You gotta center it so that it can go into that hole just right. There you go. And click it in. And then, yeah, you can see here in the close-up, it's lighter there now because we got the stress marks in the plastic because we bent it. I guess bending this up and down too many times, this will break off. But that's why Chanel implemented this little lid. So even if this breaks off, don't lose it. Always place it in its position because it does have that little soft foamy bit to hold your glass into place so it doesn't wobble around, it doesn't kind of chip or break. So we close it shut. Then you have to find where the slit begin. You can't slide this back in on, on both sides. There's only one opening and it's down here. You have to look for your opening. And we have found the opening and we click it in, you guys. And wait, what do I have? Oh, here we have space. And there we have it. And now let's spray our newly refurbished, refillable Coco Eau de Parfum 60 ml in the monolith bottle. Hmm. I mean, this is where it's at, you guys. Oh, it smells so good. This is where it's at.
And that's that! Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you have learned something fabulously Chanel-esque today. Let me read your commentos. Um, uh, mm, that is amazing, says Daniel. Um, ah, there you go. Madame said, mine broke off after the second time. Uh, um, um, Debbie says, it will soften up. Kira says, careful. <laughs> Madame says, I have a few of those refill bottles because I fly a lot. It, they're amazing. Um, doesn't look like refill, says Debbie. It's like a regular bottle. I know, and it's so beautiful and sleek. Letty says, only Jacob can make an unboxing as beautiful and sexy. Yes, thank you, Letty. Sketches are so sexy, like Kama Sutra, says Amina. I know! This is like a Kama Sutra text. It's like a guidebook. It's like a guidebook to Chanel Kama Sutra. All puns intended today. I know, it's one of those days, you guys. I'm cracking up. The comments, says Amina. I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> says Debbie. How can Jacob be so serious? I can't. <laughs> uh, oh, yes. Now the bottle is birthing. Yeah, Drew. Very tight. Um, Jesus, uh, so from virgin, so tight, yes. From virgin to given birth in a millisecond. Virgin Mary is shook. I'm Louis, says slow, slow. Kira says, I have so much I'd like to add right now. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. Well, uh, so, um, great tutorial, says Amina. Um, Jesus says, mine never broke off on several bottles um, and occasions. Well, you guys, I <laughs> thank you for the very uh, creative and productive comments on uh, this tutorial of uh, how to rechange and refill and restuff your then empty bottle of cocoa eau de parfum 60 ml. May the monolith live a long and prosperous life. Because if we stop purchasing these babies, Chanel will stop producing these babies. And these are really beautiful, beautiful, sleek and elegant Chanel pieces. Like historic 80s Chanel pieces. It would be a pity to see them discontinued. Subscribe to my channel if you like what you see here. As crazy as I may sound, there is some sort of sanity within the insanity. And I hope you manage to find that thread of sanity within the insanity. But I hope even more that you manage to find the thread of insanity within the apparent sanity. That's the real trick and the real magic of life. Subscribe to my channel, Hither, on YouTube. You can also push the join button next to the subscription button and become a member today and gain access to extra perks. Join me on Patreon, become a member today on Patreon, gain access to extra perks. Amongst the many perks, your name listed here, scrolling in the end credits bar as the co-producer of The Fashion Bunker. You can also join me on my Instagram profile, it's Super Dakeable, all spelled together, as well as on my two Chanel dedicated profiles, one called Coco Chanel is in my house, all spelled together, dedicated to my Chanel collection. The other profile uh, entitled Coco Chanel Privé, all spelled together, dedicated to the life and achievements of Coco Chanel herself. I advise you, if you're on the go a lot, to get just a refill. You can save yourself a lot of money, but it would be a pity to miss out on this beautiful monolith of a bottle because who knows how long it's still going to be in production. Um, and hence, who knows how long this will still be in production because if they stop with these, they still keep producing the refills for a while so people can still repurchase the cartridges for this, but these are beautifully designed. Very, actually, very, very... Um, Art Nouveau, or Art Deco, a bit more Deco, you know, they're so sleek for refills. A lot of effort went into designing these. Uh, so if you do travel a lot, these are just perfect. They occupy virtually no space in your luggage. Look how sleek and thin they are. And you're within the limits for flying because it's under 100 mil. So you could take it on board with you and just freshen up while you're on the go. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy Coco as much as I do. You can also check out my other Coco perfume related videos. Links will be in the description box down below and sprinkled throughout this video in the card sections uh, as it may. Until next time, never give up on Coco love. Love you all. See you soon. Take care. Bye.